Black Lives Matter. How's it going, YouTube? Well, I was on the train, I lost a little bit of my earbuds, Bruh. and I had to get a replacement for it. Lucky that, good for me. Anyway, how y'all doing? You and your family and loved ones are always safe and sound. Please leave a like and a sub on this channel if you like more from this content. We're going to react to CJ the Champ's video, the most disrespectful moments in anime history. I've been lagging behind. A lot of famous YouTubers have already been reacting to CJ's content. I need to step up the pace. So every single day, I'll do that. All right? So they're really funny in his take on anime and disrespectful moments, and he feels are just the worst moments where characters just shit on one another and just beat the shit out of another person and don't even get a chance to explain themselves. Like they can care less about their backstory, their background, or history. They can't even introduce themselves. They just beat the hell out of them. And see the chance to content is funny. So if you like more, if you like this uh, video, please let me know and give me video suggestions. All that being said. Let's dive right in. He walked up to him with this straight ass face, patted him on the cheek, he slapped a shit on his ass. He slapped his ass like he was slapping an ungrateful hook. Let's go, Caesar. I married that. That was crazy as hell. This man stopped his theme song. He stopped the protagonist theme song. Badass. Oh my god. That's gotta be one of the most disrespectful things you could ever do to a protagonist. Stop their theme song with the fucking finger. Like, because, bro, like, they was gassing this man Ichigo up. I mean, he just beat Bianca, they just rescued Rukia, so everything is going great, right? So you're thinking nobody can stop my boy right now. He about to smack the shit out of this, oh, I take eight big glasses looking ass boy. <laughs> this man Isaac really said cut the bitch little nigga. Hey yo, then after that, this man probably had the best exit of all time. This man just looks down at their asses like you get pure ass beats. Y'all niggas ain't shit. This man takes off the glasses, slicks back his hair with no gel, my nigga, and turns into a whole ass chad. And I bet you money he planned that shit too. And look at him just looking down on each other like farewell, little nigga. By the way, everything that happens in this show, I planned that shit. Absolutely you sure did. According to Ishan. I just like Ichigo's godfather. Alright, uh, moving on. Melion is beating the shit out of this big ass purple glow stick. Like this one right here was just 
Wow. I can't even describe how much of a disrespectful ass this shit was. This man was beating his ass with the most sadistic smirk on his face. This man activated that black and voice energy and it was a rap. Just absolutely tearing through this mutated form of Barney. Oh, bro, this is what the disrespect he had. He walked up to him with this straight ass face, patted him on the cheek, and slapped him straight out of his ass. <laughs> Does he have one arm? The hell? That's Barney. The Resident Evil theme is nostalgic, CJ. Take a look. <laughs> Damn, that nigga like that. <laughs> that little girl. This nigga Kurapika brought a shovel to a fight. What? A fucking shovel. What the fuck? No, no. Who the fuck thinks of this shit? He brought a shovel. So that guy from Hunter x Hunter. Oh, I bought a shovel. 
Hey, got caught, bitch. Yeah, like I said, there's gonna be a lot more of these because this is just the beginning. Like, there is some stuff out there that is even worse than this. So, we gonna have some fun with this. Oh, by the way, I forgot. We got merch now, yo. We got the Aaron drip. We got the Monterey drip. I am buying any of that. Yeah, I just had to put my shit on. Anyways, uh, now I'm going to head out. This series is funny. Keep it going. Keep up the great words, CJ. Please be liking us out on this channel. And Birdsman994 will bounce. Oh, <laughs> 